Hey guys, welcome to another Visual Basic lesson for the Shoot Them Up game. And what we want to do this lesson is to improve on our shooting system a little bit. And uh, if you remember from last lesson, this is what we have done so far. So you can move your spaceship left and right on your game, in your game. And when you press the space bar, it just keeps shooting um, missiles unlimited, in an unlimited fashion. So, uh, you might say, well, this is going to make the game really easy because I'm just going to keep doing this and then any enemies that come at me will just be destroyed. So, I'm going to make the game slightly more complicated. So, I'm going to define a new condition. I'm going to say that uh, we're going to restrict the maximum number of missiles on the screen to six. So what I mean is I'm gonna shoot six missiles and then it won't let me shoot any more until there's less than six missiles on the screen. So I won't be able to do that for example. So I can shoot six and now I gotta wait till some of them get off the screen then I can shoot some more. So there can only be a maximum of six missiles on my screen at any one time. So how do I program that? Well, the first thing we need is we're going to make a new array called Missile on Screen. And it's going to contain a Boolean uh, it's going to contain Boolean objects, either true or false. Alright, so why am I doing this? Basically, for each array uh, for each missile array element, I'm also going to record whether uh, that missile is on the screen or not. So when I shoot, when I shoot uh, with my spacebar, the shoot function is um, called, and the shoot routine it's also going to um, adjust the missile array. So Sorry, missile on screen uh, for that same missile number to be true. Keep spell, keep spelling missile wrong. And uh, so missile on screen for that miss at that missile number is going to be true. And I'm also going to uh, increase the dimension of my missile on screen. Array. Uh, I'm also going to increase the dimension to make it bigger so I can have as many missiles as the uh, as many uh, spaces as the missile array. So what that's doing is it's uh, recording whether that missile is still on the screen. All right. So. Let's see if we can track that. So, right now, um, well, you can still play the game right now. It just won't do anything different, right? Even though we have a new array in the background, we haven't said that we haven't specified anything to do with it yet. So, let's say uh, I want to make it so that the missile array, sorry, when the timer ticks, I'm going to tell the user whether the missile is still on the screen. So uh, we're also gonna uh, say if the missile array, if that missile goes off the screen, dot top is smaller than or equal to let's say negative five. So when that missile goes off the screen, meaning the top position, the Y coordinate is uh, less than negative 5. Well, if they're less than 0, then they're pretty much off the screen. But next, less than negative 5 means that you definitely won't be able to see it. Um, we want to, when that happens, we want to uh, change the missile 
on screen dot uh, sorry missile on screen at that same index uh, change that object to false so the object at this position at the ith position in the missile on screen array will be false when we uh, when it gets when it gets to the when the missile gets to the edge of the screen and we also want to print that to our debug window just to uh, make sure that it's just to make sure that it's uh, it's doing what we want it to do and uh, so before that um, actually let's just try that so we shoot a missile and then so it shoots and then when it gets to the edge uh, hang on a second move my little webcam so you can see so you can see what's going on so when I run the program uh, so when I press the space bar when the actually I will uh, I will just change something here um, missile on screen missile on screen I so we're gonna right line the missile on screen I'm just gonna put that line over here so it should tell it should you should be able to see that it changes from true to false so when I shoot a missile it should say true all the way and then when it crosses the boundary of the window it'll start saying false so you can see it's outputting true and then it passes the boundary then it says false so that tells us that the array is working okay so what we want to do is we want to try and um, make the missile on screen a uh, variable uh, so basically we're gonna we're gonna count how many missiles are on the screen so uh, let's delete the right line because we don't need it to tell us all the time all right so we're gonna keep track when we press the space bar right now it just shoots it just shoots the uh, missile so what I want is another um, for loop there when I press the space bar so I'm gonna make two variables I'm gonna make an I variable as integer starting with zero and a, uh, a C variable as integer also starting with zero and you'll see how I use it in a second uh, so basically when I press the space bar I'm gonna use the for loop for i is equal to zero to missile number however many missiles we have um, however many missiles we've shot onto the screen uh, for i equals zero to missile number uh, we're gonna we're going to count if the missile on screen uh, array if the object at the position of I in the missile on screen array is equal to true so basically it's saying if that missile is on the screen we're going to add it to the count we're going to add it to the count c equals c plus one so c is basically a count of how many missiles are on the screen 
the C is a count equals count plus one. So basically, this code is going to count how many missiles are on the screen. And uh, so at the end of the, uh, after the for loop, after it shoots the missile, it's going to tell us debug.write line. It's going to tell us how many missiles are on the screen. So let's see if that works. So right now, um, he presses spacebar. It tells us there's zero missiles on the screen. So zero really means one, right? Because the first um, the first missile is uh, is uh, the zero position. So if you Right now, there's four missiles, even though it says three. And you can see that number keeps increasing. So when there's more missiles on the screen, basically this number tells us how many missiles are on the screen, minus one. All right. So actually, I'm just going to make count start with one. All right. Count can start with one. So right now there's one missile on the screen, two missiles on the screen, two missiles on the screen, five missiles on the screen, five, two, and so on. So when I press the space bar, not only does it shoot, it also tells me in the uh, message window how many, how many, um, missiles are on the screen so now I'm gonna add another uh, another um, condition so I'm gonna say only allow us to shoot so if the count is smaller than five then we'll shoot it Otherwise, we're not going to shoot. So what's going to happen now is, um, so we go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so let's just say six. Smaller than or equal to six. So how many is that going to allow us? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it doesn't let us shoot anymore. So basically, it'll only let me shoot when there is less than six, six or less missiles on the screen. So I shot six. Now I got to wait till some missiles pass the boundary before I can shoot again. So in the in this window, there's only, there will only be a maximum of six missiles at any one time so this will make the game a bit more challenging for you guys rather than just having an unlimited number of missiles okay guys i hope this uh tutorial was interesting enough for you guys i'll see you again next time